The work that I did, I was able to show that there should be a velocity, as a velocity, uh, far beyond anything man has heretofore considered. Now, light is uh, 10 to the fifth power, which is a one, followed by five zeros. Uh, uh, per kilometers per second or miles per second, either one, it's uh, 10 to the fifth power, one by followed by five zeros. The velocity I came across is 10 to the 40th power, which is a one followed by 40 zeros, massive string of zeros. Well, to explain that and to put it into more common terms, I once uh, uh, suggested that um, it's like a man praying. And uh, the angel carries his prayer up to God, and God's outside the universe. And uh, the angel travels at the speed of light. And uh, the guy prays, and the angel carries it up to God. And to get outside the universe, you can ask an astronomer, it's uh, about 25 billion light years to the edge of the universe. Mm. So it took 25 billion years for the angel at the speed of light to get up to God. And uh, he finally gets up there. <laughs> God. I got this prayer from this guy. God takes a look at it and he gives his answer and the angel hustles on back down at the speed of light. 25 billion more years, he finally gets back to earth. The poor guy's been dead 50 billion years. Well, it's not really uh, so bad. Using the velocity I described, 10 to the 40th power, it would take the angel about 15 minutes to get up to God and about another 15 minutes to get back. So when you read the Bible, it says, when you pray, be just a little tiny bit patient. You'll get the answer. So it doesn't take so long.